Joining us, the Mayor of Wairau, Craig Little. Um, good afternoon to you, Craig. Oh, good afternoon, Michael. I don't think it's a confession, mate. I think it should be something you should be proud of. <laughs> <laughs> good on you. Um, listen, I actually often have to explain where Wairau is when I say it's in Hawke's Bay. Um, but um, Northern Hawke's Bay, do you... I've asked this question before. Is your affinity more with the Bay, Hawke's Bay, or Gisborne and the Poverty Bay? Generally with, with Hawke's Bay, but then most people don't think they're part of Hawke's Bay when you live in Wire, because quite often we've forgotten. But, but we have a great affinity with, um, with Poverty Bay or um, uh, yeah, Tarafti, so yeah, it's a bit of both. Yeah, okay. Um, and it's easier to get to Gisborne than it is to Napier, isn't it? Just because of the roads. Yeah, I'm heading there today. It's about an hour to um, Gisborne, about an hour and a half to Napier. And, yeah, and Gisborne's, you know, they're doing really well. And, um, yeah, so it's nice to be part of them as well. Listen, mate, um, your typical media... Only, we only hear of why or when you're in trouble, and here's another illustration of that in the last 24 hours. Um, so I've talked to you because I know you'll give me the background and the truth. Uh, it's been reported that there's um, another gang confrontation between Black Power and Mongol Mob, that residents are, quote, you would have heard, seen la News Hub last night, residents are traumatised after Black Power members allegedly set up roadblocks looking for a Mongol Mob member, uh, and there are armed police, police, as I talk to you, on the streets of Wairau now. What actually is the situation, please? Well, it's pretty dire at the moment, uh, Mike, because we've had two houses burnt. These houses are close to schools. The kids walk past them every day. Not a good look. They appear to be... Look, they appear to be able to do this without getting caught, so that's the first question we need to be asking ourselves. How the hell is this happening? We have a huge police presence, which, you know, it's great, um, but we just need to go harder, and, and the judicial system needs to help the police so these guys stay inside. Yeah, because this isn't the first time it's happened. I mean, Wairau has been a flashpoint. It's because you've got so many black power and mongrel mob folk in proximity to each other. Some are even interrelated, I understand, Craig. Oh, they, they're all related, probably, and it's just crazy. You know, they're all part of different families, but you know, there's, there's a couple of things going wrong here. You know, families are supporting these guys. The time comes when a family member keeps letting you down and doing some pretty out there sort of things, you've got to say, hey, come on, you know, we, we're really not that happy with you. Pick, you know, pick your act up or bugger off. Yeah, you see, I mentioned my father's school at the start of this Wairau College where he was, uh, it was his first teaching appointment. He was there for about four years, I think, and which is why I was born, as I explained. But um, for the kids that are going to schools, primary and Wairau College, uh, living in this environment, it would be setting some impressions, you'd think, Big time. Generally, the, the Wire College is going pretty well at the moment, Michael. But but the, you're right, and and the, all these problems stem from the home. Yet, you know, you, you you can't go and do anything, and and if you're not doing anything or you're trying your hardest, nothing's happening. They'll blame the school. Where it's not the school, parents need to actually start, or caregivers need to wake up as well. Yeah, I was thinking more though that. If I was a young, impressionable Maori kid at Wairau College or even in one of the primary schools, the intermediates, and I saw this kind of activity happening normal like this, I'd be thinking, well, that's where I'm, I'm going. Yeah, and, um, and when I'm, I'm not going to get caught, so it's not a bad option, is it? Yeah, no, uh, no don't face the consequences. Uh, listen, the other thing so, is, yeah, so, uh, are people yep. traumatised, though? Are your residents traumatised, as News Hub no. reported last night? There are some, of course there are, you know, there'd be elderly and that, but most people aren't scared of these guys, but the biggest scare they've got is they'll, they'll retaliate or stick up themselves and they will be the one that will end up inside and, and these guys will still be out because no, there's a lot of people that can handle themselves, no worries at all, but these, and, these, and we don't want that, but my God, we're getting close to it, you know, these people are getting really frustrated. Um, the police are on the streets today armed. Is there a boosted police presence or is that just the police you've got there, Craig? No, I really boosted presence. I've just, as I took your call from Shane to talk to you, um, I passed three police cards within a matter of a minute. So they're here, they've got a new Cotardi something, it's a new, new, and then that's going to be infiltrating um, police throughout the, out the Gisborne, Wire and, and Hawke's Bay, but the issue's in Wire at the moment and that's where I want the police. I, I want a base here in Wairau, and let's just sort this issue out. And if we can't sort it out, well, there's something really wrong. Um, you've been in the past uh, a little bit wary of uh, taking on the gangs with getting rid of insignia and things like that. Um, are you going to have to re-examine that? 
I, I think as a country, we've got a new police minister, um, Stuart Nash, who happens to be in our electorate yep. as well. So he's going to have to really give us, give us, as you know, how that goes. Um, it's really hard work. Um, and But we've got to start it at home. We've got to start on the rise. We've got to start it in, in functions. that we, It's not acceptable. We're a gang patch. People feel intimidated. Of course they do. And that's why they wear the patch down the main street of Wairau to intimidate people at the end of the day. Um, can, can I ask also, what sort of numbers are we talking here? So you've got, what, how big's is or now? Is it five, 6,000? What's your population? Oh, she's actually grown since uh, your father's day or oh. your day. So we're probably up to about 9,000, but that's oh, a okay. whole, but the town is probably about half that, four and a half, five. Yeah. So, and, and so how many um, gang members roughly would you think you've got in town or look, on the outskirts? Apparently these gang ones causing all this issue are the younger ones. Yeah. And it, it tells me that their leaders have lost control of them. And, you know, we need to be asking ourselves what, what's happening there. Um, so I'm not sure. I haven't done that. But there, there's a fair few. Hey, look, they've had a good run over the past, you know, probably when Stuart Nash was the police minister, he did do a good job and got the police numbers up. And he hasn't been police minister, so now he's back again. Let's hope he really starts working out. Let's work out how many gang members are here. And across the country, as you know, they're, they're built up everywhere. And, and there's one reason they do this, because it's obviously a bit of a good job. Yes. Um, when um, civil servant bureaucrats in Wellington start arguing civil rights, you probably get a bit exasperated, do you, when it comes to dealing with gangs? No, oh, you do, because bloody civil rights of normal people have been taken away by these guys. Mm. Yeah. You know, when you're talking about roadblocks and things like that, God, it's, it's, we're just, if we can't be there when it's happening, we'll be there all the time. Do your council consider this issue? So does it end up on your policy or as an agenda paper or anything like that? Yep, we, 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 we talk about it all the time when things like this rear up. It, this is reared, reared up. It's, it's a lot more um, visual at the moment than normal. But when, you, when you've got two houses that burnt near schools, not a good look. Um, and neither's the shootings either, obviously, as well. I mean, I guess from the other point of view, from your point of view, you're trying to get people to sort of invest in wire or live there, come and visit, you know, all those sorts of nice things about, uh, as a mayor, these sorts of things just undermine and sabotage you, don't they, every day? They're, they're absolutely gut-wrenching, um, Michael. They, they're kicking the guts for you and all our councillors and everybody on the council are doing all this good stuff. Everybody in our community that have faith here. And these guys think they can do this and get away with it. No, they shouldn't be able to at all. We've just got to come down on them like a ton of bricks. All right. Um, can I just say the very best of luck to you? I've no I've been through a sort of mini version of what you're going through, but I suggest that yours will be yeah. heightened. So um, we 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 quote you quite a bit, Michael, on the gang patch issue and that. Um, and well, it does work, mate. Quite, I tell uh, you what, they'll move out if they can't wear their gang patches. They, uh, they it's so much yeah, a part okay. of their culture and their mentality, Wayne. That if they can't display their colours and strut their stuff. Um, it sort of takes away a primary purpose for them doing what they do. Yeah, absolutely. And like these guys, hey, if you wear red or wear blue, one or the other, they get offended. So it just shows you, tells you what you're dealing with. Yeah. All right. Best of luck to you, Craig. Hey, hey the platform's fantastic, mate. I just watch it all the time. Okay. Thank you so much, Craig. Look after yourself, mate. Ta. Um, that is Craig Little, the Mayor of Wairau.